Okay, let's try it on that bag image. We'll compare Laplacian and Gaussian to Canny, and we'll allow the sigma to vary. Um, I have this code already typed in. Oops, wrong one. It's this one here. So and what we have here is a very small level of sigma. And as I hit return, it keeps uh, increasing sigma. And as you can see, the uh, canny results look a lot better. Um, we don't have these weird structures. Um, you know, we, we have the edges more or less um, in predictable locations. Um, so generally um, more accurate. And of course, as we increase it, uh, everything goes away. And finally, let me run another example. Um, this is a house where I want to pick up some fairly faint edges. Uh, they can be fairly faint, let's say, in the siding here. So just to point out that um, the uh, edge function uh, run with the canny option returns optionally the threshold that it calculates. So it it can, you can provide it a threshold, or if you give it a empty bracket, it calculates the threshold automatically. Um, if it calculates the threshold, it returns it as a vector um, of two values, low and high, where low is always 0.4 times high. And that's calculated just from the magnitudes in the image. Um, so let me go ahead and run that. Um, Let's see, I'm just going to run, let's say, the first part here. Uh, OK, so here I'm varying the sigma. Here is a very small sigma of 0.5. It's computing the threshold automatically. Um, here is sigma of 1. Uh, 1.5, so I'm still getting most of the siding here, but losing some of it. Um, and then at this point, uh, those features are too small. They're essentially smaller than the sigma. And then I guess if I go up really high, like at 4.5, um, losing all that structure. OK, and the next thing I'll do is I'll vary the threshold. So um, I will explicitly tell it to use thresholds from 0.05 to 0.4 um, and always set the the low threshold to be 0.4 times the high so let's see the effect of that um, okay so this is a um, sigma of 1.5 with a very low threshold. So I'm getting a lot of very weak edges in the grass here. Increasing that to high, to a threshold of 0.1, lose a lot of that. Um, there's 1.5, etc. So only when I get up to this high, um, only the strongest edges in the scene remain. OK, and then the last thing I'm going to do is to um, see the effect of using only one threshold. So first I will um, compute the threshold normally. Namely, I'll let MATLAB compute it for sigma 1.5. And, re and remember, that uses actually two thresholds, one for low and one for high. Then I'm just going to take um, the low threshold and use that in both places, uh, in low and high. The EPS, um, I have to put that in there because uh, you have to make these a little bit different. So EPS stands for uh, epsilon. It's a very small uh, constant, you know, 10 to the minus 15th or something like that. Um, so that will just use the low threshold. 
and then I'll run it again using just the high threshold um, that I obtained from this automatic thing um, then we'll compare those okay so what we got here is uh, of course the original house then we have um, this is just the low threshold okay so this is picking up a lot of extra stuff in the grass um, that's very weak this is just the high threshold so here we're not getting um, a lot of the desirable features on the siding here because those are just too weak and then this is uh, using both thresholds so it's it's using the high threshold to initiate the edge and then the low threshold to pick up additional points along that edge so that that way we're, we're getting a lot of the siding here that we lost um, in just using the high threshold 